Hey, welcome back to uh, another 10-minute reviews. I'm Amy, this is Freya, and somewhere under that mass of fluff is Jason. And we're bringing you today's <laughs> episode. Where once again, we're going to talk about an author, and this time we want to go and talk about a, a um, I guess you could say an under-the-radar author, or um, one you guys have never really heard of. We really like to focus on authors that, that you're not likely to see in the bookstore, or, uh, or come across on like the New York Times bestseller list. We like to find those, those indie authors that have some really good stuff. I mean, there's, a lot of these indie authors are really, really fantastic and really entertaining. So today, we want to talk about a book called Beware of Chicken. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's written, the author is obviously writing under a pseudonym. Um, author is Casual Farmer, uh, all one word. And you'll find it on Amazon. It's it's a um, a Kindle Unlimited book that is it's absolutely freaking hilarious. People, it falls under a couple of different genres. Definitely fantasy for sure, but it also falls under the cultivation uh, wujia um, genre. Not quite lit RPG, but the cultivation novel, cultivation series is a lot of them. Is is its own genre based off the 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 Asian. Um, I guess myths of, uh, you know, it's almost like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon kind of stuff in a way. You know, you've got your, your meridians and you circulate chi and you have your dantians and, and they can become immortal cult cultivators if they can get powerful enough and they have the stages, the body stage, the soul stage, so on and so forth. Uh, Tao, Tao Wong writes a, a fantastic uh, cultivation series, but this one is a one-off. This was the author's first book. and That's fantastic. It, it is. It's great. I, it's as entertaining a book as you can possibly get. It's cultivation, absolutely, but it's also comedy. It's, it takes the cultivation genre and it kind of flips it on its ear and, and it just it, it makes it just, just pure, pure comedy. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. It revolves around a character named Rao Jin or Jin Rao, depending, and it, it goes to that, that uh, if you guys read some of the, uh, the Apocalypse type uh, um, novels or uh, other lit RPG novels, it goes to that trope of the person from our world dying or somehow being transported into the body of someone in another world, in a fantasy world. In this case, it's a cultivation world. And uh, he is um, he's transported into the body of a sect, cultivation sect member, that is, um, he's, he's weak, he's, he's the weakest member of the sect, uh, very weak in cultivation, barely made it in, just, yeah, overall, just, just a little, he's pathetic, he's, as she said, pathetic, um, but this character might even be slightly more pathetic, because he enters this world where you have these, basically, superpowers, even this weakling, is stronger than a normal person, has these abilities that a normal person won't have, and this person looks at the, the memories and looks around at the world he's in and is like, this is too violent. This, this is, is too dangerous. I'm, I want to go live, I want to go be a hermit. And, I want to go do what I know and be a farmer. He wants, decides he wants to be a farmer. So he, he leaves the sect, uh, pays the exit fee, which basically he bribes him to leave, uh, although they give it back to him because he's so pathetic, and he's also the first one in what the centuries to actually pay the fee. Typically, uh, most of them just, just vanish. Like, okay, we're done with you. We're out of here. Um, so then he does his, starts doing some research to try and find an area that would be safe for him, and he settles on an area that's going to take some travel, uh, a low chi area. So theoretically, there's not a lot of monsters, or spirit beasts, or anything else. So he he travels, and the the travel is. Amusing, but and long. It, it's amusing, but you know, for months of travel, they, they don't turn that into a third of the book. It's Thank you know God. just just a few pages, uh, maybe a, maybe a half a chapter or something. So he finally gets where he's going, and uh, he buys a plot of land, uh, a crappy plot of land, because because you know this is out in the middle of nowhere. He gets it really cheap because it's well worthless, crappy, and That's worthless. What they say, it, it's worthless, worthless crap. So. Uh, so he starts working on it. Now, despite being having all the memories of this cultivator that he has taken over, he also has, has his own memories from our world. So he's got modern techniques that he can think of. Obviously, like, it's not magic. Like, I, I hate those books where it's got someone from our world that's transported to, to another world and, and, and they build a revolver. 
I mean, yeah. you know, we all we all know what guns are. We all know how to use guns. I only theoretically slightly have a vague idea of what the gunpowder formula is. And I was a science major. Most people do not have any freaking clue what that is or have any freaking clue how what what you know what what percentage of of carbon they need to add to iron in order to forge steel much less than figure out how to pick a for, right yeah and 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 figure out how to how to build you know complex stuff this character doesn't he he's actually has some pretty funny fails too he's like yeah you <laughs> yeah. kind of got an idea and I think I know how to do it and it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't work, work out very well but he's strong powerful unending endurance so he uses that to start to to transform his land and he transforms it very very quickly and he comes across a um, an unknown root and he can tell it's a spirit herb of some type uh, so he just kind of puts it aside and he buys he starts buying some you know he starts setting up his farm gets some crops and buys a chicken and, well a few chickens because he wants eggs and of course has to get a rooster in order to you know the sun's coming to, up. right you know one to know the sun's coming up and two protect to protect the chickens and theoretically to fertilize them so you get more chickens. Yes. So uh, so this this rooster is kind of ends up sort of being his guard rooster because he it wakes him up anytime there's there's danger and him and his trusty shovel go out and take care of it. Okay. And uh, you know so he kind of gives this rooster free reign. And over the course of of the next few you know little bit of time, the rooster having eaten some of the spirit herbs starts to become self aware. And starts to to uh, to take his job as a guardian more seriously, and basically becomes a low-level spirit beast. At, at one point, the, the main <laughs> character even sees the rooster basically doing a training montage on, a, on the um, fence, on, just on the fence post. Kicks yeah. and... working on his kicks. <laughs> um, and uh, as as the the book continues, he goes into the character goes into town. He starts meeting townspeople, and he's very different as a cultivator. Typically, cultivators lord it over everyone. They're powerful; no one can stop them. They they rape, they steal, they do whatever they want. Whereas he is friendly, humble, weird to their world, um, but approachable and and, and humanizing. And, and, and he 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 he's just he's just an everyday guy. He, they, he shows up and starts playing with the kids. Uh, when they're terrified, he's gonna kill the kids because they splashed mud on his on his robe. So through the, through the next uh, few chapters of the book, he gets uh, he gets a couple of pigs. Uh, he gets a kitten. He trades a goat for the kitten, so it was an interesting side quest. Um, yeah, I got... Hey, then, random goat. Where, where, where'd you come from? Where'd you, where'd you, where'd you go? You, yeah, where'd you come from? Where'd you go? <laughs> where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Goat? <laughs> so, so he gets his kitten. He's got these pigs. And as time goes on, the pigs and the kitten turn into soup, spirit beasts. And... Now that the rooster, the chicken, has grown in power and grown in cultivation and, you know, had, had breakthroughs in his philosophical meanderings, um, so it was actually it's grown amazing. to a, yes, they, they, there's, there's entire chapters from the chicken's point of view. Which are, which you would think would be stupid. But they're hilarious. Um, there's chapters from the, 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 uh, kitten's, the point kitten's point, point of, view. of view. The pig, I think there's only one chapter from the... The uh, sow's point of view. But they all become spirit beasts. Um, oh, and there's a rat. Uh, but the rat is a healer. Uh, spirit beast. So, uh, and as it kind of turns out, as the book goes on, the super weak cultivator has become, uh, in typical fashion of these kind of novels, has become basically the overpowered main character. Just doesn't realize it yet. Because he hasn't been cultivating, he hasn't been circulating his chi. He's actually been pumping it into the earth. Constantly. Well, apparently that's a whole different type of, of uh, cultivation. cultivation, basically. And he's also connected with the earth that is connected back. He's healed a portion of the earth. And that earth is now connected with him, with the spirit beasts, and uh, gained him even more power and even more protection. Um, guys, it's just, it's just an absolutely fantastic, absolutely hilarious book. So hopefully he writes a sequel. This is his first book ever. We're crossing our fingers that there's a sequel. It, it's oh god, it's great. So <laughs> it's a funny book. Guys. I loved it enough that I actually wrote a review on the book on Amazon 
And I can't remember the last time I did that. It's it, it's a great book. So if there's ever going to be an indie author that you support, please support this one. Find that book. Read that book. Give us a comment on what you guys think or shoot us an email. We'd love to chat about it. It's an absolutely hilarious book. And remember, beware of chicken. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so we're going to send a chicken out at you. Big D. <laughs> and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye now.